So let's say I was going to be differentiating y equals sine cubed x. Okay, so sine of cubed x is the same as just sine x all cubed, right? So it's just another way of writing that. So if I was to differentiate it, I could use the chain rule by looking at the power coming down to the front, the derivative of what's inside coming outside, and then just having the original function but dropping a power. So this is the same as 3 cosine of x sine squared x. OK? So that is the derivative of sine cubed. So then, if I were to have the integral of, let's say, cosine uh, sine to the 4x dx, OK? And I wanted to figure out what that integral was then I could use reversing the chain rule because what I've got is precisely what we've had uh, before where we've got sine x to the power of 4, some function within another function, and the derivative of that inside function is outside. So there is some multiple of that inside function outside. So I can utilise precisely the same idea as before. So... If I looked at sine the 5x and differentiated that, because I'd be expecting to get from sine the 4x up to a sine the 5x in integrating. If I differentiate that, I've got the 5 coming down to the front. The derivative of what's inside is cosine x, so that comes outside. And I drop 1 from the power of the sine to the 5x. So I get 5 cosine of x times sine to the 4x. So if that differentiates to that, I've actually got one-fifth of what I need. And so this is one-fifth sine 5x plus c. OK, so I can use uh, reversing the chain rule to differentiate uh, tougher-looking integrals but actually it's using precisely the same method as we've seen before.